Hey there, Fallout fans. Here's a guide for the Confidence Man side quest in Diamond City. It's an opportunity to actually change the radio station. You know, we've had Travis on the radio, not the best of DJs. If you follow this guide, you'll figure out exactly how to start this mission, and he eventually gets more confident. So we're in the southwestern side here of uh, Diamond City. To start this mission, you need to find Travis. He's in this wonderfully lit little poncho of a home in here. Once you find that, you follow the directions. It's pretty straightforward, but it's also pretty fun. So I'm going to let you guys enjoy it. If you are finding any sort of glitches or issues, just try to restart the fight sequence. That's going to come up soon. Once you do that, it's smooth sailing, lots of fun. Hope you enjoy. Oh, here we go. All right. Tell me. Diamond City of Radio is terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. I don't think I noticed. You listen to it. It grates on ears like sandpaper. This DJ Travis, he is disaster. Something must be done, and soon. We will have customers suiciding before long. But damn. It's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Are you serious? Did we not just agree this is serious problem? Calls for serious solution. First, you get him to follow you out of town. All right, that's enough. But him isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. Okay, what's really going on here? <laughs> Sorry, we was just joking around a bit. <laughs> It's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Well, Travis, he, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job. Or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. So, are you actually trying to do something about it? I tell you, themes that I have planned. He does not believe me. You, you and I work on plan. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. The wall's sure looking good lately. Guess Abbott found some more paint. Everyone just buys them, but we have plenty of other drinks if you're feeling great. Come, come, have a drink. I didn't buy bar to sell water. Don't need anything today. <sighs> fine, fine. Vadim. Drinks! The finest liquor moonshiners can brew right here. Let me think it over. You know where to find me. What do you want, Vadim? I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother, Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ever been in bar fight? I can hold my own, if that's what you mean. Exactly what I mean. I want you to back up Travis in his first fight. I want to stage fight here in dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? How would something like that even work? It makes sense, I promise. I have contacts, people I can count on. Real tough looking, but they will take a dive for money. They confront Travis here at dugout. You step in and give him who she needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough, and Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple. 
right? Why involve me in this? You have seen Travis, yes? <laughs> he cannot fight alone. Not even fake one. He needs help. You can help him. I have everything ready by six o'clock. Travis should be here by then. You show up and it will go well. Promise. I mean, I mean, I mean, hi, again, uh, hi, hi, hey there, pal, oh, it's you, everything okay here, does it look okay, because, no, it is not, I don't, I have no idea what I did to deserve this, I just wish they'd go away, why not stand up to them, no, I mean, no, that would be bad. With these men, it could, well, it, it, it could turn violent. Don't you want this to stop? Yes, but... Don't worry, I've got your back. Well, if you think it would work... Chin up, Travis. We'll be at your side every step of the way. Okay, that's... Beat it, pal. Well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said... I said that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Hmm, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone. Sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? Uh, I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Why am I doing this? Travis. Whoa. I can't believe it. We did it. How do you feel now? I don't know. I mean, wow, I just, wow. I never thought I could do uh, anything like that. That was crazy. Wow. Hey, listen, I, uh, thanks. That was, well, that was really something. I think maybe I should go lie down now. been up in the stands? Let's just say they can afford a lot of clothes. I wanted so much more from my life than this. Ugh. Hi. Marvelous Don't let my structure. husband drag you into any Stop of his nonsense. Stop by the nonsense. mega surgery sometime. Paul and I have a child. I regret a lot of things, but not my little piece. I'm busy. Excuse me. Whatever you're going to ask, I don't know anything about. 
I ain't your friend, Scaver. Hi. Just buy or sell whatever you need and get lost. I think that went well. <laughs> Ready for next part of foolproof plan? It's not more fighting, is it? No, no. This part is simple. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her. And I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. Why do I have to be involved in this? Think about it. I am Scarlet's boss. I tell her she needs to go see Travis. Suddenly she is thinking she is no longer just waitress. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? She's crying. Miss? I'm on a break right now. Can I ask you something personal? It's about Travis. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Uh, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Would you like it if he had mentioned you? Well, yeah. I guess I would. I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him. And I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. Open during the day. This is terrible. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. I have no idea what's going on here, Yafim. They took him. They took Vadim. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. He, he wouldn't pay, and that they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay. And then they just... Drag them out! You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. Do you know where they took him? No, I don't know. He's the one that uh, has always dealt with them. I've tried to avoid them. Travis might know. You should ask him, please. I don't want anything to happen to Vadim. I need your help. Vadim's been kidnapped by Bull. That's not funny. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh. Oh, man. Wow. Is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... It's my fault. No, Travis. This is between Vadim and those men. It's not your fault. But if I hadn't gotten into that fight with them, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Nonsense, Mr. Miles. The blame is unimportant. What matters now is finding Mr. Bobrov. Look, I don't, I don't really... I mean... I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. You really think you're capable of doing what needs to be done? You're talking about... about killing people, aren't you? If... if that's what it takes. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. We gotta go in there, show them we mean business, and... and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll... I'll get a gun, and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. I'm on a break right now. Oh, thank God. You're here. 
So this is it. Odds are, if they've got Vadim, he's inside. We're... We're gonna be okay, right? Just keep a cool head, okay? Don't think about it too much. Okay, right. Sure. Yeah. Chin up, Mr. Miles. We'll have Vadim out of here in no time. Any, uh... Any last-minute advice? I've never done anything like this. I go in first, and you stay behind me. Watch my back. Okay. Whatever you say. Some would even call this complete. What do you think? I don't know. Jump in the shack. Yeah, you're probably right. Gotta cut down to the
Hey there. Thank you. I didn't know if anyone would come. I thought perhaps this is the end. Uh, thank you, thank you. You are true friend. Are there more of them? Are they gonna come after you again? No, no. This was best they could do. You got them. <laughs> These idiots had caps and cams just lying around. <laughs> They... they did not notice when I filled my pockets. You deserve what I took. Ah, and Travis, I am surprised to see you here. <laughs> hey, Vadim. I'm glad you're safe. How did you get roped into this? I... I wasn't forced or anything. I wanted to help. Ha <laughs> ha! You are full of surprises, my friend. Hey, listen. I wanted to say thanks. This has been... Well, it's been crazy. But I've learned a lot, I think. What are you gonna do now? Well... That's what I've been thinking about. After all this, I think about the things that had me worried so much, and it just seems... silly, you know? Like... Was I really that worried about just being on the radio? That's nothing compared to being beaten up, shot at. I can do so much more. And I need to. Anyway, thanks again. I owe you. <laughs>